morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's early. I woke up at one, one o'clock last night and a cop rolled through here, shining his car lights on pretty much every vehicle that was here, one at a time. And he did that to me and I was like, what the hell, right? I thought somebody was just running through the, to park. So I got my shoes on, I went out there and said, what the hell is going on? I'm like, what kind of asshole does that, right? It was a cop. And he's like, the guy that's been parked here forever, he rolled up on his vehicle, just like shining the light right on his car. Just kept rolling on and rolled on, and then kind of went on his way. So he came through and sh shined the light on all the vehicles, looking at the plates, whatever. I was like, anyway, waste of time, waste of tax money. So now I got, I, mean, I'm, I can care less. They can tell me to leave, I'll leave, but it's daytime and I'm not worried about it. And I think it's public land, so I'm not too worried. Cowboy, was it, what did I call it, outlaw camping? Yeah. Very Robin Hood at the moment. Speaking of, let's talk about the rich, let's talk about the elites, let's talk about deception. We can talk about the, the physical world talk about uh, money manipulation we can talk about media manipulation we can talk you know those with the, the power you know you know who control you know the narrative like all the news stations and there's a video of all the news stations saying the same thing all at once like verbatim it's really funny but there's a, there's a spiritual deception going on too. And when I talk about spirituality, people just lump it into their personal religion, which is wonderful, but we're talking about really basic here. We're talking about dark and light. We're talking about good and evil. It's, that, you know, you don't get no more black and white, you know, period. Good and evil, basically, you work for the light, you're happy, you believe in love, you believe in you know, hugs, you believe in family, friends, joy, music, you're very, you know what I'm talking about. And if you work for the dark, darkness, you're basically low vibration, always angry, always pissed, nothing's good enough, you're the victim, everybody's, you know, somebody else is a problem, and it's never you, for one thing. You know, you don't want to be that people. And we don't like being around that people. So, but those people are in charge of everything right now, and they want us to go to war. And when I talk about deception, I told you this is all really bizarre fucking scam. And you notice how nobody's talking about COVID no more. They lifted all the restrictions, of course. So, that, I mean, does that mean everything's back to normal and everybody's fine and there's no concerns? <sighs> that's that's what I love about the the elites. They expect because they control the narrative, they can automatically just switch the topic, and nobody's gonna say, "Okay, you just tortured millions of human beings for years, terrorizing the shit out of them over making them wear masks." And and you know, all the people that are that have been vaccinated, I have a prediction, and I hate to say it, but within five years, there's gonna be a lot of people no longer on this planet. That's the best way to put it. There's going to be, the thing is, is the people that are, that are surviving the vaccine after those five years, they're going to be coming after the people that, you know, Fauci, that dude's going to be on the run, man. He's going to be hunted. He's going to be in the jungles of Brazil trying to hide like the Nazis did after World War II. Trust me, these people are not going to be safe. And right now they're walking around the streets like they own the fucking world. When these, pe when these people start dropping at, 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 on them, you know, on mass, there's going to be problems. Uh, these people are going to be hunted down, and it ain't going to be me because I didn't get the shot. I ain't, but I'm cool. But the families of the people that are dropping dead from the shot, yeah, they're going to have problems. So they're going to be coming after you if you're elite. So suck on that, right? Hey, karma. Oh, karma, baby girl. Where you at? Kick some ass. So you got you got Lindsey Graham talking about assassinating Putin. What a psychopath that dude is. 
What a piece of shit. And here's how this this really bizarre little fucking good cop, bad cop with the Republicans and the Democrats. Dem the Republicans, the only time they talk is when they come out and want to bomb shit and kill people and blow shit up. And it's like, okay, shut the fuck up and sit down. You're just a worthless piece of shit. And they're trying to make the Democrats look like the same motherfuckers, but they all want to go to war. They all want to, you know, they all want war. War means money. War means industrial. <laughs> and paybacks and kickbacks and all that money that's going to Ukraine, the billions of dollars, guess where it's going back? Mm -mm -mm, into their bank accounts. It ain't going to help no people in Ukraine. That's part of Russia now. If you think Putin's not gonna get that, if they wanna go to war, Lord have mercy. And this Zelensky guy, what a piece of shit he's turned out to be, right? He's a warmonger, They're, they want to war. Basically, if Putin offered him a chance to, to keep power and be an independent, the whole thing was Zelensky refused to be an independent country, like Switzerland. He was like, nope, we're either going to be in the UN or, gonna, you know, he's like, dude, he was he gave him a chance to keep that whole country in control. Ukraine, your country, you get it, you, all your boys stay in power, good for you. The war stops today, boom. But he's like, nope, he's a warmonger. Talking to our guys and fucking going to Congress telling them about this shit, please. Warmongers, they all just want now they're blocking Ukrainian refugees at the southern border because they were too, what, they're not dark enough? They're the wrong fucking country that they're refugees from? Yeah, just, it's a joke. It's, it's just, it's a comedy of errors, man. The people in charge are all morons. They're all idiots. They're just, in the incompetence of Clammy Harris going to another country and then laughing and talking about it. Just a, <laughs> that nervous laugh. Oh, the fucking chicken's annoying. All she's good at is sucking cock, and probably not even good at that, which is why she's the vice president. Anyway, they didn't even, her own party didn't fucking even like her. She dropped out of the fucking presidential race. Remember that? She dropped out early because everybody was leaving on her ass because she was annoying. And yet she's the fucking vice president. Oh. Oh, deception. Don't buy the deception. And this is what I tell you. Self-love, self-worth. When you believe in yourself, you don't fall for the bullshit. You're not gonna fall for some smooth talking lover. You're not gonna fall for some smooth talking fucking car dealer. You're not gonna fall for some smooth talking politician. And they're all the same. They're all sleazy bullshit. So love yourself and don't fall for the bullshit. Don't fall for these warmongers. I don't wanna fight Ukraine. I don't wanna fight Russia. I don't wanna fight anybody. Russia's gonna get Ukraine. What are you gonna do? I feel bad about that because it's, it's just a fucking ploy to get us to go to war. That's what Putin's job was to do, get us to go to fucking war. Fucking bunch of globalist piece of shits. Oh, I know. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Go get smashed. Oh my God, go get pissed for me. I know I don't, I, I preach no alcohol, but you know. Just moderation. Eat something before you go drink, please. When I used to, when I used to get hammered, I used to eat a big meal before I go out and go drinking, just so I at least have some to soak up the alcohol. So you're not just a, you know, complete amateur. So anyway, but I love you, and God loves you, and the universe loves you. And don't fall for the deception. Don't fall for the bullshit. And that's all it is. And we're talking spiritual bullshit too. The Vatican is run by Satanists. I'm sorry. Look at that throne room. It's just fucking creepy. It looks like a snake head. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm So, anyway. <sighs> this is a weird video, but it is what it is. It's my channel, and I love it. And I love you, and God loves you. And the universe is still digging you, so have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.